while back, we did an install and first test on Cycle Country's 60 inch Bear Force steel plow with manual lift kit on our Yamaha Grizzly 550 test unit. Unfortunately, we didn't order the plow until late last winter. It arrived around a week later, just as the season's last snow was melting. With no snow in sight, we were left scraping dirt off our concrete patio as a first test. While the plow seemed to work well, we didn't feel as though we put it through a thorough enough evaluation. With another winter fast approaching and a 2011 Polaris Sportsman 500 in our possession, we contacted Cycle Country and ordered a new mount kit for our Sportsman. Cycle Country now offers a new universal mount kit, which allows you to attach your plow to quite a few different ATVs. Unfortunately, the Sportsman 500 isn't one of them due to the thick undercarriage skid plates, which are part of the chassis. The Sportsman specific mounting kit we received from Cycle Country installed in around 15 minutes the first time out and should take around 10 minutes to install from now on. After attaching the plow's push tube to the bottom of the new mount kit, we installed and adjusted the lift strap and were ready to go. Even with Cycle Country's largest and heaviest straight blade plow installed, the Sportsman remained pretty level and balanced. During the first two snowfalls of 2011, we used our Cycle Country plow to clear test rider Joe Hunt's 60-yard driveway and circle turnaround. My neighborhood became big fans of the plow as it was put to work clearing their driveways. We even took it down to Rivertown Marina where we spent a few minutes clearing snow off the boat ramp and out of part of a parking lot. The Bear Force plow did a very good job of clearing snow down to around an eighth of an inch in depth, which could easily be melted away with a moderate amount of salt. For those using a winch to lift their plow, Cycle Country offers their downforce accessory, which adds 150 pounds of pressure to the blade, allowing you to scrape even more efficiently in snow, gravel, or dirt. We spent a majority of our time plowing at slow speeds, but picked up the pace between 15 and 20 miles per hour while we were plowing Rivertown's parking lot. The plow worked well at either pace, but seemed to move snow off to the side more efficiently as the speeds were picked up with the blade angle. Changing its direction is as easy as pushing down on the lever on the front of the push tube and turning the blade to your desired direction. The manual lift system is easy enough to operate for most adults. However, at just over $200, ladies, older individuals, and those who plan on using their plows for extended periods of time may want to consider Cycle Country's PowerMax electric lift kit. After spending around four hours using the plow over the past 11 months, we are very happy with its performance. Construction seems good, although we have noticed a few small rust spots beginning to form about halfway up the blade. We find this surprising, as we have seen Bear Force plows with years of use with virtually no signs of rust. To maintain its good looks, if your blade is exposed to salty snow, we would recommend spraying it with a coating of rust inhibitor such as CalGuard 3030 or WD-40 before putting it back in the garage. The few hours of plowing that we did in our subdivision earned us enough cash to make the payment on our Polaris for a month. If you live in the snow belt, your plow could easily pay for itself with a few significant accumulations. Cycle Country's Bear Force plow is a great tool and definitely worth the investment. For more information on Cycle Country's plows or their full line of outdoorsman, agricultural, or utility implements, log on to cyclecountry.com.